Hi everyone, it's me again. It's been a while since I've made a video with just me on the screen because as you can probably tell from my voice I've been um, like sick recently and you can see from my red my red nose. Um, but I have loads of things I want to talk about so it's time to make some more videos. Um, <laughs> so I'm getting a bit distracted because I've got my cat sitting on my desk. She's like putting her paw up like, like this. Um, getting in the way as usual. But we love her so it's okay. Anyway, one of the things I wanted to talk about was herbs. Oh, <laughs> I laugh when I say that because all of the um, like witchy YouTubes that I watch are from people in the States and you all say, um, you pronounce it like herbs. And so I feel like I should be saying it like that. And when I've been like saying it in my head, that's how I've been saying it. <laughs> Cause I've heard it so often. But anyway what I really wanted to talk about was you know a previous video I did was of my starter altar kit that I bought and it came with like 50 or was it 50 or 100 herbs and resins and salts and stuff <coughs> excuse me and um I just oh, and my cat's laying on the box I want to show you I made oh it's a bit funky I made a little box for them in here and you can see that it says herbs it looks backwards but I made this little box and I stained it I just I love wood stain I go a bit crazy with the wood stain and I've put all my all my little sachets of herbs in it as you can see alphabetized because I like to be organized it smells so good when you open that but what I really wanted to know I suppose as like a new new Wiccan pagan witch whatever you want to call it I've been struggling to find like you know magical herbs and like the uses of herbs in in spells and stuff like do you have one of the questions that I wanted to know so please like feel free to answer me in the comments because I'm genuinely interested is if you have to buy like you know just obviously some of them are really weird like buckthorn bark I don't think you could get that in your local supermarket but like stuff like rosemary and thyme um is it acceptable just to go down to your supermarket and just buy like a ton of it like here look I've got some dill in a bottle from good old Tesco's um and oh shit and cloves and stuff like that do you just go and buy that from the supermarket or do you get that from like a speciality pagan store to use because I feel like I just it's just easier and I just want to get it from there but it does that take away it's like magical witchy properties or is that more to do with like your intention and say like because I've got some of the things growing in my garden that I like to incorporate like I have like so much sage and rosemary um growing because we've, we've lived here for like 15 years and when we first moved in we planted like loads of that because it just smells so good but now I'm like really doubly appreciating appreciating it because of its other like uses but then obviously for the cooking I love cooking so we've got like the basil <laughs> basil um and uh oh my mind's gone blank I'm just <laughs> It's my cold it's getting into my brain um I'm just you know like your regular cooking stuff growing in our garden so I do like to use fresh fresh herbs when I can but obviously stuff like we've got poppy seeds like I don't even know what I'm gonna do with like poppy seeds and and I got some juniper berries even though I, I had some in here where is it Jay let me just find Jay see juniper berries but like they smell so good I just can't get over that um I can't remember what I was saying <laughs> I always feel like my videos have to be so like in sync I feel like I should be making a, a perfect movie and there'd be no like edits and cuts but now I'm just like ah oh, fuck it like sorry I know some people don't like swearing but I just literally swear my head off and I've been trying not to do that in these videos but now I'm just going off on a rant. <laughs> and I, I feel like 
the more I'm, the more videos I'm doing, the more comfortable I'm becoming, and I, I feel like I was really, oh, my screen just went dark. Um, I feel like I was really like stiff and just really like, oh, I have to be proper in a video if all these people are gonna see it, and now I'm like, I just don't care. <laughs> um, so anyway, back to talking about herbs and spices and seeds. I always call them herbs, but there's so much more than like with the spices and seeds and flowers and stuff. So what, what I want to know is where do you get your magical herbs from? Do you get them from the supermarket, a special pagan site, or do you grow them yourselves, or what do you do? I'd love, I'm fascinated, I'd love to know, so please, like, let me know in the comments. Um, there's more I wanted to say, but my mind's going blank. Oh, that was it. I, I started a Instagram for, I'm, I'm addicted to Instagram anyway, I already have two accounts, like a personal one that I've used for as long as I've had Instagram which is years and mostly consists of food my pictures from my travels my many travels and my cat and my dog you know the usual but then I made a, a bookstagram because I'm obsessed with books and writing and stuff so it was like literally all about books I'm not sure if many people would care about that on here um but then I just made a new one. I feel like it, I just love photography. I studied photography for a while, so I just I love being able to express stuff through that. Um, so I made an Instagram. It's called My Wiccan Way. Um, just to, because obviously I'm 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 gonna do the year in a day, and I wanted to kind of have a photographic outlet for that as well. And it's just all the things that I'm learning. And one of the things. I've posted on there. I don't know if I've actually got my phone with me. Um, it's about just all the different thoughts that I've had and one of the things I was thinking about yesterday is I always have a lot of flowers in my house as you can see behind me. I've got these. <laughs> I thought because obviously Maybon is like or Mabon however you say want to say it is tomorrow. Gosh um, my mind's all over the place. Um, I thought they were really like nice autumn colour colours, fall colours, whatever you want to say. So I've got them there, but because we always use like we always have a lot of flowers. Oh and you can see my my book of shadows here again. Um we always have a lot of fresh cut flowers in our house and I feel like just we we have them just because they're pretty and they smell nice and just all those things and I feel like I should be like appreciating them more and using them more so oh, I want to incorporate them into like my craft and my work and I've just really been thinking about that a lot lately and we have these beautiful sunflowers so this is literally what I've been oh massive massive glare I don't know if you can see that you can just see like the reflection but we had sunflowers and I've just been uh, writing about like the meanings I've found for sunflowers like petals and seeds and how I can incorporate them into my craft because I think it's just so wasteful just to throw just oh they're they're wilting or they look like they're dead let's just throw them out and get another lot so I've been kind of like saving them and I've got in my little pot here um sunflower dried sunflower petals which I'm gonna incorporate into my work one day when I find a use for them but it's been good just to get like a some knowledge on the seeds and how I can incorporate that and stuff and I just I just like putting it in these little glass bottles I think everything looks so much nicer than say like in that and in this <laughs> but then I don't think they'll all fit in my nice little box I have to think about that you can oh no you can't see behind me if i maybe if i move my screen up you can see just up there there's two more there but i've got one more to stain and i was thinking about separating like herbs and spices and flowers and stuff but uh, that's some ocd time for another day <laughs> but um yeah i suppose it's the same the same that i had the question about with the herbs i had with like the flowers and stuff like I have I have English obviously English lavender growing in my garden and 
it smells wonderful but i bought i'm like obsessed with lavender in food at the moment like i i, I am a baker i love baking love the great british bake-off i don't know if any of you know that like if you live in america or australia or wherever but mary berry is my queen um so i love putting lavender in biscuits and cakes and stuff it's just delicious like i don't know why people haven't more people don't do this but i bought some french blue lavender look look at that look, it's just so pretty and um that's another question i had like the same with the flowers and oh i just thought what my second question was actually it was the same to do with let me just i should have this all organized in here but let me go here my little book i've got so many boxes on my bookshelves this is like my witchy slash my crafty room and do what i want to know is when like witches and pagans and wickers whatever you want to call yourself do your spells and your rituals and you say like you used um what have i got in here i can't remember what i've even got in here um oh, like little little rose little rose but say if you used them in a spell what would you do with like the contents of it after say your spell has finished working what would you do with them after do you just throw them away do you put them back in like your jar or wherever you keep them or i don't know plant them <laughs> i'm not too sure like i'd love to know like what what people do because i just i feel like it's really wasteful just to throw it throw it all away especially when there's like really beautiful things like like these pretties blue corn flowers um which i actually bought in like my local craft shop hobby and craft which is like the, pretty much the only craft shop that i can find over here um and it's for like soap making flowers to put in soaps and candles but i just love them and i was like i i love those flowers i want to incorporate them but anyway so what do people do do you throw them away do you just use them again um or does that kind of take away the power from it do you feel like it's you can only use it once and it's just forever imbued with whatever spell or intention that you've put into into that does it jinx the next one like i'd love to know these like fascinating like subjects for me and all the books that i've got i've like tried to I've got so much to do like I'm starting I'm going into my second year of uni I'm starting tomorrow is my first first like induction thing I've got to do because I'm transferring unis blah 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 I'm sure you don't want to know about my life um I've got to travel to London every day which is fucking hours and so many trains and I really really hate trains oh sorry having a little rant there um, <laughs> but all the books that I've been looking at don't really tell me like the answers to what i want to know so please help me out here <laughs> but um i suppose that's about it for that i've got other things i want to show you and discuss so i'll make another video but thank you in advance and i'll uh, catch you in the next video